Last week, the WEF's annual meeting of new champions in China brought together some of the world's leading innovators as well as startups challenging traditional industries' businesses. One sector feeling the full force of these disruptive technologies is finance. Our Kwan jang sat down for a face-to-face -face with a man leading the fintech revolution while he was in Tianjin. Financial technologies, or fintech for short, has changed the way people use financial services. Instead of walking to a bank, people can now use their smartphones or go online. Investments in the industry rose 75% on year in 2015, and there are no signs of the growth slowing down. And behind this upward trend are new startups and innovators challenging the traditional banking models. Consumers are very smart. Consumers, when they see something which is so much better and so different, they really make a, make a jump for it. Tarvit Henrikus is the co-founder and CEO of TransferWise. It's a peer-to-peer -peer currency exchange service that matches payments with those going the opposite direction. So money essentially doesn't cross borders and therefore it's cheaper than banks and other services such as Western Union and PayPal. In just five short years, it now handles transactions worth over 750 million US dollars a month and the company has been valued at just over a billion dollars. I don't think the world fintech existed then. So I think you know, we were, we've been kind of part of defining the, the genre of fintech. But really, you know, I'm, I don't think consumers care about fintech. Consumers care about a better experience. Cheaper, faster, more convenient. Have the banks changed the way they do things? Like, have they reacted to what, what your company's been doing? I think not that much yet, but it really comes back to kind of a deficiency in their business model. But that re-engineering process is something which is very painful to do in an organization which has thousands of branches, tens of thousands of people, and existing shareholders who are used to a profitable company. Tarvet reckons that along with technological innovations, it was also the 2008 financial crisis that led to people losing trust in traditional banking services and look for alternative solutions. When, while we thought that banks were looking after us, they really only cared about their own interests. So we've seen a steady stream of, of new fintech companies coming in every vertical of banking since the financial crisis. So. And what lays ahead in the future of fintech? Do you think you know, it, will, it will last, this fintech revolution? Do you think uh, banks will catch up or even take over some of these? I think we'll see a future where it's really hard to distinguish between a conventional bank and a fintech disruptor. You know, as in every other industry, we're seeing that technology comes, comes and takes over and becomes the center of it. Everything will be technology enabled. The same thing will happen in banking and finance. Kwan Zhang News.